On February 1, the green comet C2022E3 ZTF will approach the planet closely before departing for millions of years in outer space. For the first time in 50,000 years, a bright green comet designated C2022E3 ZTF will pass within 50,000 miles of Earth on February 1. When the comet passes within 26 million miles or 42 million kilometers of our globe, it will provide a rare nighttime sky show last witnessed when modern people and Neanderthals coexisted here on Earth. But the comet is now visible in the late night and early morning sky, so you don't have to wait until February to see it. Following the comet's trajectory for several weeks, observers had a particularly nice look at it on January 12th when it came the closest to the sun, a phenomenon called perihelion. Here is all of the information you need regarding the green comet's course, trajectory, and viewing locations in the upcoming weeks. The Path of the Green Comet C2022E3 was whizzing through the solar system when it was first discovered by astronomers in March 2022, passing just within Jupiter's orbit at a distance of 399 million miles or 642 million kilometers from the Sun. The researchers were able to make out a distinct tail, or coma, which demonstrated the object was a comet rather than an asteroid, despite the fact that it was extremely faint about 25,000 times fainter than the dimmest stars visible to the naked eye. Comets are formed of ice and dust particles that progressively melt as the comet gets closer to the sun, leaving a visible path. By January 12, 2023, the comet had accelerated to a distance of 482 million kilometers or almost 300 million miles, and it was now visible on the night sky close to the northern constellation Corona Borealis. It has been traveling across the sky in a westward direction ever since. By the third week of January, according to experts' calculations, the comet will be visible to the unaided eye. The comet might be visible on the evenings of January 26 and 27, just to the east of the Little Dipper's Bowl. By February 1, when the comet approaches Earth most closely, it will be visible close to the Camelopardalis constellation, not far from the Big Dipper. The comet will appear to enter the constellation Auriga on February 5th and 6th, and a few days later when it passes through the night sky to the west of the star Capella. After that, it will start to drop towards Taurus and get progressively fainter as it moves away from Earth and returns to the outer reaches of the solar system. C-22E3's orbit brought it outside of our solar system for almost 50,000 years prior to its current trip close to our Sun. The exact distance the comet will travel after leaving Earth this time is unknown to astronomers, but it appears that C-2022E3 is headed out of the solar system entirely. Humans might never see it again after that. In fact, the most recent estimates indicate that the comet is traveling on a parabolic orbit which means it is not connected to our solar system and is not likely to do so again. The comet's orbit might be slightly modified by the gravity of an unidentified object in deep space, returning it on a path that passes through our solar system. However, even if this occurs, it would probably take millions of years before C2022E3 again approaches Earth in close proximity. So, take advantage of the comet while you can. Watching the Green Comet On February 1, the comet will fly by Earth and be about as brilliant as the faintest stars in the night sky. However, instead of appearing as a pointed, brilliant star, the comet will appear as a diffuse, blazing blur that may spread its light over an area the size of the full moon. City dwellers and those in other light-polluted locations will have difficulty seeing the comet. In order to see comets, Joe Rao and a guest lecturer at the Hayden Planetarium in New York suggests going to the darkest area you can find, letting your eyes adjust to the darkness for 20 to 30 minutes and then looking toward Polaris, the North Star, which is visible at the end of the Little Dipper's handle. Look around this area of the sky with your unaided eyes for the comet's luminous halo. 
observing the comet with a telescope or a pair of binoculars may make it more difficult to see it. How come C2022 E3 is green? Although the comet isn't actually green, a somewhat uncommon chemical reaction causes its head to appear to glow green. Diatomic carbon, C2, a straightforward molecule composed of two carbon atoms bound together, is most likely the source of the light. According to a 2021 study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, this molecule creates a greenish glow that can linger for several days as the sun's UV energy breaks it down. Before reaching the gas-filled coma, or tail, of the comet, this ghostly glow vanishes. The source of that gas is once more solar radiation. In this case, sunlight causes a portion of the comet to sublimate, or change from a solid to a gas without becoming liquid. This gas, which is frequently blue from the UV radiation, streaks behind the comet. However, what do you think? Are you looking forward to seeing this green comet? Comment your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't miss out on our latest uploads. If you wish to stay up to date with the latest space updates and discoveries, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on all notifications to see more of our latest videos in the future.